Hey everyone! Here's an introductory video where I'll be informing you about what you'll be learning in this lesson. In this lesson, you're going to learn about homophones and homographs. This lesson is very important because it teaches you that there are words in the English language that can be tricky, so learning how, when, and why to use them is key to your education. This lesson includes a few activities using Google Docs, Google Slides, Edpuzzle, Google Cardboard, and Kahoot. In this video, I'll give you an outlook of what's included in the lesson, what exactly you'll be learning, and what you'll need to do prior before coming to class. In the lesson, we'll be covering exactly what homophones and homographs are. With this knowledge, you will be able to properly distinguish different homophones and homographs within sentences. Also, you will be able to make your own phrases. Additionally, you will be practicing homophone and homograph usage by utilizing virtual reality to see and listen for certain words. Then, to be sure of your understanding of the material, you will play a game of Kahoot with the class for review. Prior to class, be sure to scan the given QR code to download Google Expeditions app in order to participate in the virtual reality activity in class. For the lesson, you will be provided links and directions to guide you in starting your activities. Once everyone has completed their activities, we will all play the review game of Kahoot. Your first activity focuses on determining the correct homophone that fits the given sentences best. Your task is to make a copy of the worksheet I provided, then save it to your English folder. Once you have independently completed the worksheet, Share the document with me so it can be graded and then a partner to grade each other's. Like I show in the tutorial video, correct your partner's worksheet using the notes. Once you and your partner have finished, you may move on to task number two. Your second activity focuses on your understanding of what a homograph is. Your task is to watch the video on Edpuzzle and answer the given questions throughout. Make sure you also record all of your answers in a Google Doc and share it with me in order to be graded. Once you have completed all of the tasks in the second part, you may move on to task number three. Your third activity focuses on using both homophones and homographs. You will use Google Slides to review your understanding of these words and when to use them in given sentences. Your task is to use the link to take you to the template of the Google Slides activity. Once there, make a copy of the activity and save it to your folder. Then, complete the PowerPoint and save your answers. Once you have completed the activity, share your copy of the slides with me to be graded. There's your introduction of the lesson. Now let's get started on those activities. 